Can't wait for that. All right, but first joining us is our entertainment reporter, Morgan Hoffman, who had quite the exclusive this past weekend in New York City, hanging with Mark Wahlberg and Michelle Monaghan to talk about their new movie, The Family Plan. Yeah, no big deal. I mean, I got an exclusive my first week here on the show. Pretty good gig. Uh, and I have to be honest, they could not have been nicer. Take a look. Happy anniversary. Dan, my husband, he's an amazing dad. You almost ready to go to size 4S, huh? Are you so big? Look at the big muscles. I just wish our lives were bigger. Really? At least let me put my kid down. <laughs> this movie is so much fun. I would imagine any fight sequence is intense. But you had a baby strapped to you. Yes. <laughs> what is that like? Uh, that was scary because we could not, out of the four children that we had on the set for that sequence, we could not get one of them to go through, and quite understandably, go through the sequence without crying hysterically. Yeah. So I completely understood that, even though our co-star was very friendly in between takes and everything, it's it's a little it's a little jarring for 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 kids to all of a sudden be in the middle of a, a big fight like that. But I thought if that was the tone for the rest of the shoot with the small children, we were in for some trouble. But thankfully, <laughs> her and the kids were able to really kind of make, uh, you know, create great chemistry between yeah. us and the, and the babies. Yeah, we really were able to bond. That was very early at the start. And then once the baby really got to know us, uh, specifically the kids, uh, they spent a lot of time. And then, you know, we actually yeah. really bonded. And, and like and parents, started, you know, yeah. with a small child, and teenagers, you were constantly trying to pass the baby off to somebody else. Yeah. What did you think of the fight sequence with Mark Wahlberg and that baby? Oh my gosh. It's insane. It's, it's insane. It's literally insane. It's, it's so Im impressive. It really sets know. the tone for how skilled Dan is supposed to be yeah. in this movie to be yeah, able to exactly. do a fight sequence like that with a baby strapped on him. Um, <laughs> and it's such a hilarious scene as well. Yeah. So many of the reactions from, from the baby are just, it's so So funny. perfect, yeah. It's really good. Wait, wait. <laughs> Mwah, new record. I love the whole premise of this. You play this character that seems like a suburban dad, car salesman, and turns out he's a deadly assassin. If you could lead a life with a secret identity, what would it be? Ooh. Okay. Uh, I mean, definitely uh, wouldn't involve killing oh, people for sure. <laughs> I would good. a secret identity. I'd probably like marriage I, I, counsel. No, <laughs> I, I no. hear they make good money. Gosh, I don't know. What would it be? I always my first thing is like I would really love to be able to cook. I'm not a good cook. I'd love to be able just to all of a sudden wake up one morning and just be able to like cook anything and do. Mm -hmm. That's not really exciting or sexy or anything like that, but. It's true. It's what I'd like to do. I like that. You said doctor. No judgment. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. That's pressure. There you go. Could you handle that? You could handle that. Well, I didn't have to really be a doctor. That's right. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Secret identity. <laughs> Secret identity. I, you know, maybe, I don't, okay. What would you be? I just, I don't think I want to, like, Kill people. <laughs> you don't, it's just to see what I said. Okay, okay. Maybe if they're bad. True. Okay. If maybe. If need be. I was just uh, if I could be if I could be Batman, that would be perfect. And then I wouldn't. That's have to kill good. People. Yeah. Batman is good. Yeah. Um, I to be honest with you, and this is so awful, but like I just don't feel like I'm built to be like Batman. I feel like I'm a sidekick. Well, neither am I. Oh well, but like, yeah, but nobody's disagreeing. This is, this is nobody's a saying you're like Batman. Right what I'm saying is, well, I, I feel like I'd be no. I feel like I'd be like a sidekick. Oh my stop! Collaborate and listen. I suspect back with a brand new adventure. I had so much fun getting to hear your rap skills with Ice Ice Baby. Uh, do you have a go-to sing-along song in the in the car, or a good karaoke song that you always go to? I have lots of songs that I'll sing along to. If I hear something catchy, you know, I'll start singing it around the house. But I'm not do I've never done karaoke. Ever? Which I can't. No, I find never, that so hard to do. And now we to have karaoke. to do karaoke. Wait, no, we have to do karaoke. I don't just go happen. frequently yeah, karaoke. Yeah, we might have to head down to Chinatown and like, yeah, exactly. I see what that. he's got. I'm I'm not a big singer, so I rarely do karaoke. I'm I'm in your camp, um, but I love ACDC. Shook me all night long. It's like if that puppy comes on, I'm hitting the dance floor and I'm screaming it at the top of my lungs. That's a good one. It's a good one. I it's like a good that. one. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. Okay. Hundred percent karaoke. I do the same karaoke song every time. <laughs> uh, I love "Don't Rain on My Parade" from Funny Girl. That's that is my go-to song. That's a great one. Yeah. 
I, do, I don't know that I really have a go-to karaoke song. I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of like a specific song. I guess I'll give you a boring answer. Anything from, from Dominic Fike, you know? Anything from his discography, you know? That's cool. Yeah, I, he was my number one artist in Spotify raps. What did you think of Mark Wahlberg's rapping skills? I mean, I grew up with Marky Mark, so right. for me, I was like, oh, he's rapping yeah. in this. Yeah. Oh my God, everybody get ready. <laughs> he's making a resurgence. You know, yeah, he came back. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it was fantastic. It's it's a really funny scene. Yeah. Uh, it was actually difficult to be acting like, I thought it was so crazy <laughs> yeah. because it was yeah. so funny to me that I just had to be like, oh, this sucks. But this meanwhile, sucks. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, we were having so much fun. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit funny. Yeah. Um, but he's great. I mean, his his rapping skills were were pretty amazing. Yeah. He, did, he knew all the words. He made a career out of it. Oh my Stop. God. Collaborate and listen. Next year is 20 years since the premiere of Entourage. Wow. Is it? it did you? Yeah. 2024. Wow. Another is reminder it, of how old we are. Is, is it wild how many people still want to know if there's going to be a reboot? I do get asked that quite a bit. I bet. Yeah, and yeah. I get asked all the time, is this guy, is this the real turtle? Is this one the real uh, <laughs> E? You know, uh, those yeah. questions come up quite a bit. But it's, it really is testament to that, to the show and the talent of the guys and everybody involved yeah, in the it's show. It's a great show. It was, uh, you know, something that was just like a pop culture phenomenon. Mm -hmm. It was very cool. And yeah. you'd be happy with a reboot? Yeah, sure. I think, you know, I think... Everybody would love to see it if it could be executed the right way, better than the original, then why not? Clean up on aisle six. Sorry about the mess. Hold on. Oh, hey, Bo. Hey, Dan. Oh. All right, so much fun. I can't believe 20 years since Entourage. It's unbelievable. wild. Yeah. I know. All right, and go-to karaoke song, Morgan, for you? Oh, man. Okay, listen, anything Spice Girls or um, uh, Ace of Bass? Do you guys oh, remember it? Of course, course. Yeah. all that she wants. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Um, fight scene with a baby. No, I thought this was a fake baby. Because you see that all the time in movies. And then when I was reading the production notes before the interview, they choreographed it specifically knowing a real baby would be strapped to him. So the baby was fine. By the end of the day, the baby was having a great time. Oh, but yeah, yeah, Mark was saying, you know, the extra pressure. Yeah. Could I just say an action scene with a baby strapped to you, isn't that parenthood? I think that's what they call parenthood, right? So I yeah. hear. That, that yeah. so true. Having bounced a lot of babies, yeah. I mean, the more they like right? a lot of movement, so I could true. just see like, things like this. They'd be like, oh, oh yeah. what's going on? All right, the uh, family plan is available as of today on Apple TV+. Morgan, thank you so much. Have thank a great you. weekend. Thanks, you too.